Summer is a season that usually involves a fair amount of entertaining and you often end up catering for family and friends. So the pressure is on to cater for varied tastes and big appetites. Fortunately, guest chef Sylvester Naya is on hand with a summer holiday menu. Summer days down by the ocean with my little fishing rod and my bucket trying to catch some fish, trying to scuba dive for crayfish and crab. That didn't really happen too well for me. But today, I have all these fresh, amazing ingredients at my fingertips. And inspired by my childhood and these summer days, I'm going to be preparing an amazing seafood platter and a few different salads with my twist on it. So first up, I'll be making a cucumber, watermelon, and feta wrap. For that, I'll need some sliced cucumber, some nice fresh watermelon that I've cut earlier on into cubes. Add some feta cheese. So you don't want to fill this up too much because you don't want everything to fall out while you're rolling. It's quite a dainty process. So to make it easier, you could lay down a piece of cling wrap, lay your cucumber and your watermelon and feta over, and then roll it with cling wrap and just rip off the cling wrap once you're done. That should make it much simpler. I'm going to put some skewer sticks in now. This is for eating purposes and also so when I cut it, the stuff doesn't really fall out. You want to try your best to get the skewer straight into the watermelon which shouldn't be too difficult because you can see the watermelon through the cucumber. So we're just going to cut in between the skewers so that'll help to hold together the cucumber and to hold together the filling as well. So I'm going to set these on my bowl and I'm going to arrange my salad on the same bowl as well. Then I'm going to start cooking my seafood platter. I'm going to cut some spring onions. Gonna hold your knife quite straight when you're doing that and you want to cut it quite close to each other. If you pick your knife up too much, you're going to bruise the spring onion. Also, visually, it's not going to look very nice. You're going to do some nice onion rings. I'm going to keep the onion whole. Also, you don't want to pick your knife up too much and move it around too much. Our tomatoes, we're just going to do that in half. Keep them nice and juicy. Then with our peppers, when you cut them, you want to clean the inside of the pepper up, so no seeds. And also on the flesh, you want to hold your knife quite tight. You want to go across that. Get all that skin off the inside. Also leaves you with a nice thin pepper, there's more flavor in that. And you want to hold it quite close, nice thin julienne on that. Once that's inside the bowl, you're going to get everything together, toss it up. So I'm going to start plating up my salad. Get my bowl back. Got some nice lettuce leaves that I'm gonna arrange. Today I'm not gonna use a lot of salad leaves. I'm gonna just put a few nice leaves here just for color and also to add a nice smooth flavor to the dish. But uh, I'm gonna have more filling in this one. I'm gonna arrange my tomatoes, my onions, roughly all over the plate. Spring onions aren't traditional in a Greek salad. However, because I'm doing a seafood platter today, Spring onions and seafood go fairly well. I'm gonna finish that off with some kalamata, black olives, and some feta. I'm not gonna put blocks of feta onto my salad. I'm gonna crumble it all over, because at home when you want to get the piece of feta, when you're sitting at the table, you can grab, the next person grabs, and there's only four pieces of feta. So I wanna crumble it all over the salad, so it's easier when you eat it, and it's easier to get the feta as well. I'm just gonna add a nice lemon cheek to that. That's done. I'm gonna start getting ready with my beautiful seafood platter now. So for our seafood platter, we've got some nice crayfish, some fresh linefish, some calamari, and some prawns. I'm gonna start off with the crayfish, because that's gonna take the longest to cook. So what you wanna do with the crayfish is open it up, make sure it's nice and clean. I'm gonna add a touch of Cajun spice to that. My Cajun spice is quite strong. It already has some salt in it. I'm gonna put a squeeze of lemon over that, and I'm gonna pop my lemon wedge into my hot pan. After that, I'm just gonna do a nice knob of butter. I'm gonna pop my crayfish in with the flesh side down. That's gonna cook for at least about 10 to 15 minutes. We're gonna flip it over to get a nice color on the shell. The shell should start to turn a nice into a nice orange color. That's when you know your crayfish is cooked. Next, I'm gonna move on to my prawns. I'm gonna do a garlic and chili prawns. So for my prawns, I'm not gonna season them on the inside. I want the butter 
So infused with the chili and garlic. Nice helping of butter here. Again, also one of my favorite ingredients. Pan's nice and hot already. What I've done with the garlic is I've kept the skin on the outside of the garlic and I've just cut straight through. So all the garlic's here together, nice and juicy. I'm gonna put that down into my butter. And then I'm gonna pop the prawn straight in there just like that. We'll have to increase the, the heat a little bit because the, the temperature of the prawn will obviously change. We're gonna let that go for a little while and last we're gonna do the fish and the calamari. You don't want to overcook your calamari, it's gonna end up like eating rubber bands. So I'm just gonna chop some chili. Gonna pop that straight over the prawns. Grab a lemon and squeeze some fresh lemon juice over that. Gonna add some fresh parsley into that. So I'm just gonna roughly chop that, keep the leaves nice and big. And then we're just gonna sprinkle that over the prawns. I'm just gonna turn my crayfish over. Uh, you can see the crayfish is coming off the skin. And that way I know that it's almost cooked. I'm gonna do my prawns quickly. Prawns are looking lovely. It smells absolutely amazing. That lemon, that garlic flavor is coming out. I'm gonna start getting ready with my fish now. Seeing that I already have some parsley on my board, I'm gonna put my line fish skin side on that. Just get some nice parsley all over that. And then my pan with the crayfish has all this amazing flavor with Cajun spice and lemon juice inside. I'm gonna pop my fish skin side down in there. This fish fillet is nice and thin, so that's only gonna go for about a minute to 30 seconds on each side. I'm gonna squeeze some lemon juice over that as well. I'm gonna add a bit of Cajun spice to that. You can use anything on this really. You could even do a bit of masala on it. I like Cajun spice because it has a nice smoky flavor to it. So we're just gonna add some of that butter from the pan, we're just gonna scoop that over. So everything's looking amazing. I got my platter ready. I'm gonna start by taking off my crayfish. You can see that's perfectly cooked. I'm gonna pop that on the plate. I'm just gonna turn over my fish. You can see the skin is nice and crispy on my fish. I'm just gonna get my prawns onto my platter now. Beautiful color on those prawns. Everything's looking really good. My fish is almost cooked. I'm gonna put my calamari straight into my pot now. Make sure the pot's nice and hot. And you get that calamari straight in there. As soon as that hits the pan, you wanna get the Cajun spice straight over it. You wanna get as much spice on that as possible so you can get a lot of flavor on it. I'm gonna get my fish out the pan now. Add that nice piece of garlic. You actually smash that garlic over the prawns. It adds an amazing flavor to the dish. I'm gonna add the lemons as well. My calamari is done. I'm gonna put that onto the platter. Finish that off with a nice squeeze of fresh lemon. I'm gonna put in some of that nice sauce over the platter. And a little bit of the garlic butter sauce. A sprig of coriander and a slice of lemon to squeeze and Sylvester's seafood platter is ready to please.